Edward Prendick, lost and adrift, battled the sea's fury. His ship was gone and all that remained was the cold embrace of the waves. The island welcomed Prendick with lush greenery and strange faces. Montgomery's eyes held a secret, and the creatures that helped him ashore were like nothing he'd ever seen. Dr. Moreau's laboratory was a place of cold steel and colder intentions. Prendick's first glimpse of the doctor was a moment frozen in time, a harbinger of things to come. A scream cut through the night, a sound that was neither man nor animal. Prendick's heart raced, and the forest seemed to close in around him. Beast folk were a tapestry of nightmares and dreams, human and animal woven together. Prendick's eyes met theirs, and he knew that he had stepped into another world. The chant of the law was a haunting melody, and the house of pain its dark refrain. Prendick listened, and the words etched themselves into his soul. Dr. Moreau spoke of his work with a passion that was both fascinating and terrifying. His words were a dance, and Prendick was caught in their rhythm. The revolt was a storm of fire and fury. The beast folk, once bound by the law, broke free, and Moreau's world came crashing down. Dr. Moreau's death was a quiet thing, a moment lost amidst the chaos. His eyes, once filled with purpose, were empty, and the beast folk looked on, their victory hollow. Prendick's escape was a race against time, the sea his only ally. As he looked back at the island, the beast folk's eyes met his, a farewell filled with unspoken understanding. The End The story The Island of Dr. Moreau was written by H.G. Wells in 1896. The video was animated by Artificial Intelligence and Eddie Goldenberg.